Bob Marley, when he and the Whalers were coming up, their manager made them perform uh, at the cemetery. And they said, you know, if you could perform at the cemetery and not be afraid, right? You know, with the spirits there, right? What would you be afraid to perform? So in New York City, I'm not gonna take the class to the cemetery, but I will take them to the West 4th Street subway stop, to the Astor Place subway shop, down to Bleecker. And if you can actually find it within yourself to actually share your work in that space, what stage are you gonna be afraid of? Give it up, give it up! Yeah, who got next up? I believe that's you. A cipher is a circle, and then its ancient meaning is 360 degrees, right? So in hip hop, it invokes this ancient tradition of gathering folks in a circle, right? The original performative space, and having a space where everybody is invited to share their skills, to show their stuff. Now, freestyling is actually improvisation. Right? Jazz musicians had improvisation, blues musicians had improvisation, so it's hip hop's uh, carrying on of that tradition. But in the cypher, you can have sort of every range from the folks who are making up on the spot, and, and you can tell that, that they're actually creating in the moment, then folks who are not sharing anything that is improvisational, it's entirely written, it's prepared, uh, folks who actually will perform other people's rhymes. Most of the hip-hop vocal that's created that folks don't hear unless they go to that city, they go to that town, they go to that spot. That work actually is the verse of our time, it's the language of our time, and it's capturing the zeitgeist. And you know, we joke all the time that sometimes there's more, there's more rappers and fans in some situations, right? But I think to have more poets than, than, than audience, I think is not a bad thing because it's, it's not just about what I think corporate America has made. Many people believe it's about at its essence, at its heart, the beauty and power of it is this culture has come out of people who were, were considered thrown away, you know? Black and brown folks in New York City, folks have been completely marginalized, then produced one of the most powerful, you know, and potentially revolutionary art forms known to humankind. The Academy for many years sort of poo-pooed hip-hop, you know, and frowned on spoken word. It was too performative. It wasn't academic enough. It wasn't highbrow. But if we look at the history, we know they call blues the devil's music. They call rock and roll the devil's music. So every black music and cultural form in America has always been initially despised and ultimately embraced. And that's the, the moment we're in with hip-hop and spoken word.